Yo guys, today we're gonna be running through how to get your ball player upgraded to diamond archetype fastest method in MLB The Show 22. You guys are gonna wanna follow along all the steps that we go over here in today's video so you guys don't mess nothing up and you guys can be having a diamond archetype ball player in absolutely no time. Very quick method, fastest one in the game. You guys want this ball player for a couple reasons. One of them being you get a free 99 overall pretty much on your diamond dynasty squad. So just stay tuned. We're gonna go through all the steps here in today's video. Video. I'll run you through everything about the ball player. So I got you guys covered today. All you got to do is hit that like on the video and also hit that sub button if you're new. But first, huge thanks to SeaGeek for sponsoring today's video. If you guys are going to opening day, which is this week, and you need MLB tickets all season long, do not forget to use code LSC for $20 off your first purchase. NBA playoffs are coming up. So if you need tickets, download the app and check out the link in the description. Don't forget, code LSC, $20 off at SeaGeek. So today we're going to be running through the fastest method to get your ball player player upgraded to diamond archetype super fast and MLB the show 22 we'll jump into diamond dynasty later on in this video so i can show you how to add him to your squad and use him all year long but first off guys if you haven't created a ball player you want to come to your top left corner on the main menu if you haven't clicked this yet then boom it's going to take you to a screen where it says pick position player two-way player or a pitcher now i've already created one but we're going to go jump into our loadout here and i kind of want to explain some stuff to you guys here so make sure you create your player and you choose which route you want to go power contact because i'm gonna explain how this works this year so if you go with power you guys will get all of the archetypes for that power that you selected there so i started off with sparking slugger on bronze and once i got the silver pack they gave me all three of the silver ones so this year it's easier it's not confusing if you click one of these it does not matter which archetype you go with well at first it does when you click power contact and fielding but after that you'll be getting all of them but what we're going to do here is we're going to create a new one so if you haven't created a new one come to the main menu click the top left you guys will see this screen where it says manage and you guys will go to create or change ball player now this is where you guys can change your ball player you can have up to 10 of them this year I only have one right now but all of them can be different they can look different they can have different builds or whatever you want to pick on there so say that we create a new ball player you can use them in Diamond Dynasty and Road to the Show we're gonna jump to this screen here where if you guys didn't choose your play style this is where you guys would do that so we're gonna go with position player we're gonna go with power because that's what we went with on our shortstop but this time we're gonna make a catcher and I'm gonna show you what exactly I mean by they give you every archetype for whatever one you pick so as you guys can see we picked a catcher we should start off with bronze right well boom we jump in and we have those silver ones so so it's way easier to understand this year you do not have to select one select archetype because if you went power you'll be getting all of them as you upgrade through bronze silver gold and diamond so once I get diamond I'll have all of the diamond ones for those positions Position players and same thing applies for contact and fielding you have to grind all of those up separately because those are three separate programs but now since you know how archetypes work well now we're going to jump into the actual method here you created your player it's time to hop into the method guys so come into the top right corner we're going to be downloading a roster so come into the vault here click r1 and you guys will be going through sort go to downloads and press search there guys so after you do that you'll come over here to road to the show grind philadelphia this is the one you guys want to download by Kaznella. if you guys do not see it there just type in go to search go to rtts grind make sure you put a space between those as well and Kaznella's roster will pop up first here 3,000 downloads as the time i'm recording so it's going to have more by the time you guys download it by is by Casnella on PlayStation it says road to the show grind Philadelphia make sure you download that one I already have it downloaded there so I'm not going to download it again but now it's time to hop into road to the show so pay attention here you guys have to follow along so you don't mess up this method so this is the most important part about the method because you have to get drafted by the Philly so come down to road to the show click square on PlayStation going to be a different button on the other consoles but go to start new and that's what you're going to want to do start a new road to the show now what you guys want to do is go and select the active one for the one that you want to grind for me that is my shortstop mike trout jr after that click back two times it will take you back to the main screen here where you're gonna want to click load saved roster and that's the road to the show grind philadelphia roster that you want to pick this method only works if you get to the phillies so now it's time to pay attention come load up the new road to the show skip the cutscene by holding down x on playstation and now you guys are going to call from your gm or your coach whoever and then it will say have you been talking to any particular team now we're going to click i know these two top routes work but i know this one works for sure i've done this one every time so there is one team i've heard from more than a couple of times here 
make sure you pay attention you have to be on the Phillies so he says let me guess the Royals it's highly likely very highly likely that it says a different team here for you guys so if it says the Mets or something here click that it would be their rivals because what you want to do is lead your way to the NL East Keep that in mind here. So this one says an American League club. So what we're going to go is come all the way down here to not even the right league coach. It's a National League club that I want to play for. Now you guys want to lead your way to the NL East team. Just make sure that you guys lead your way to the Phillies. I give up which team? Philadelphia Phillies. This will make sure click coach. I'm kind of expecting a call here. And boom, you guys will be drafted by the Philadelphia Phillies. We're not going to sit through this cutscene, but once it's almost over, we'll show you that we're drafted by the Phillies. So boom, the phone rang. We're drafted by the Phillies here, guys. Now what you want to do is you've done the most important part. Now it's time to set up your settings so you can grind through these ball player programs the fastest way. So come over to your bottom right corner. Go to settings. Follow along on these settings. This is the fastest way to get through these ball player programs. Come to mode specific and come to fielding opportunities and base running opportunities and put these on none. I do understand that these are there's a couple of missions in the program for stolen bases and assists and put outs but i'm telling you it's going to take you way longer to do those assists and put outs and stolen bases rather than just sitting there on rookie and hitting and hitting a bunch of home runs because we're going to get to why this is a crazy method so put fielding and base running on none come over to your gameplay if you made a hitter put your hitting difficulty on rookie you can put it higher if you want but you're not going to get that much more xp maybe a little bit but rookie is good for this method you're going to be hitting a ton of home runs if you can't hit home runs on rookie against one overalls then I don't know what to tell you. So anyways, if you made a pitcher, put it on rookie as well. And those are the only two settings that you have to worry about there. Now, my settings are already saved, so it's not going to tell me to save, but just make sure you use it as default. And before you go back into Diamond Dynasty, make sure you change it back to your Diamond Dynasty settings. But anyways, those are the settings you need in Road to the Show. I'm going to show you why this method on this roster is OP. So as you guys can see here on the Phillies, now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at every other team. Now we take a look here at the Nationals, all zero overalls from double a single a triple a they're all zeros here on the cubs they're all zeros are all one overall shall i say and here they're all ones every team in the majors is a one overall and then boom we get back to the phillies right here and this is the only team that hasn't been tampered with so what we're gonna do now is you guys will see you guys will jump in and play games if you want to but now the last thing that you need to do kind of the final step or one of the final steps is come into stadium assignment here and you're going to put this as a small small tiny created stadium um, what I like to do is throw it on ship it ship it is a really good park to hit a bunch of home runs but you can also put it on a very small uh, created stadium as well so you can change all of these stadiums in double-a it only takes a couple of minutes so uh, put triple-a on ship it as well you guys like I said can put a very small created stadium but you're gonna go have to download one so as you guys can see we're gonna go into I have a one that I really like in here this one's called hot top it's super small walls so if you hit one into the gap it's pretty much a guaranteed double because it's gonna hop over that small tiny wall so you can put that one if you want or you can go into the created stadium and change it so you guys will be hitting a bunch of home runs and doubles but ship it is good hot topics good there's another one called blank canvas which I think is Gomes uh, stadium as well so once you guys get to these you guys can keep jumping into games and hitting a bunch of home runs and doubles and uh, yeah that's pretty much the best way to upgrade your ball player to diamond archetype we come back into your ball player here you guys have to put on a bunch of equipment to make them better as well so keep that in mind equipment makes them really good this pre-order otani bat is the one you want to go with you'll get plus eight power in contact there and then after that you'll be grinding through these programs i'm on the silver one now but i'll be done in a few days this is i've only been grinding for the last like day and a half and i haven't really been playing much road to the show you'll be knocking out these extra base hits hits and plate appearances pretty easy every 20 plate appearances is three points every 20 12 hits is three points and every five extra base hits is three points so sometimes you'll hit like three homers in a game you'll be halfway there so pretty easy to get this stuff done you'll be grinding through silver you'll be grinding through bronze to silver to gold and to diamond and i showed you how the archetypes worked earlier so that's all you have to do for this method guys you'll be playing ever against every team is a one overall but one more thing you don't have to do this but i would consider just go ahead and do this guys is come to save go to road to the show rename it maybe uh road to the show 
RTTS double A, right? This basically what this save is going to be is if you get injured or if you get traded or something crazy happens, well, you guys will be able to have a save roster for when you first started out in double A. So say I left out of this, right? And I went to go load that one up like a week from now because I want to go back to double A. Well, boom, say you get traded something crazy or you get injured, you tear your ACL with your player, you can load back to the double A foul. Nothing will change in terms of his ratings. Your only thing that would change was where he's at in his career because the uh, ratings and stuff are through the cloud. So yeah, that is basically a workaround. If something crazy happens, keep that in mind. And lastly, once you upgraded your ball player, you're satisfied with his diamond archetype or gold, well, you can come back to Diamond Dynasty and it's time to add him on the squad. And this is one that I want you guys to understand because a lot of people are confused with this. So the ball player always shows up as a 65. If you come, whatever position you made him, mine's a shortstop, he'll show up as a 65. If you don't want to add him that way, you can come into the filter tab and just filter it by ball player and he'll pop up there. But one thing to note, guys, he pops up as a 65 overall with horrible stats. That's how it shows it on the card. But once you get in game, guys, his stats will actually be what they say on his player card. So whatever it says for you on this player card, if yours says 90 plus 15, well, you would have a hundred and something power, guys. So our 105, 90 plus 15, 105. But there you guys go. You understand that the ball player shows up as a 65, no matter what, he does show up like that, but he's pretty much a 99 in game. Once you get in game, the stats will appear. It's pretty confusing, but I pretty much went over everything for you guys here. If you guys enjoyed the video, if this helped you out, if you have any questions, let me know down below in the comment section. Make sure you leave a like on the video for me and also hit that sub button as well. Shoot this to your friends so they can get themselves a 99 ball player. But if your friend's gonna make a cap with the left-handed release with the cutter, slurve and slider and change up and circle change and a knuckleball, well, you can't use knuckleballs. But if your friend's doing that, don't send it to him. And I'm serious, but that is gonna do it for the video. If you enjoyed, leave a like, hit that sub button if you're new, as I said, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. You know that I keep shit real All you gotta do